Hello everyone, Chris here, and today I'd like to show you guys how to convert an OpenOffice Award document into a PDF and then into a JPEG, PNG, or any other type of image using OpenOffice itself. Now, this functionality isn't built straight into OpenOffice. You actually need to get the PDF import extension, which can be found at this URL right here. I'll put it right in the comments section, or the description section, rather. And you just go ahead and download the version that corresponds to your operating system, boot it up, and it will install like any other extension. And to install an extension, you just scroll through the agreement, read it if you want. Usually, it's not that big of a deal, just stating copyrights and things like that. Uh, but you can go ahead and accept that, and we'll begin to install. This is also using the extension manager, how you would update the uh, thesaurus and the dictionary for OpenOffice if you choose to do that. Now, there is another PDF importer. Uh, it's called the Oracle PDF importer or something like that. But I found that it was only really compatible with version 3 of OpenOffice, not 4, which is the current one. But this one definitely works. So once you see it in the extension manager after installing it, uh, you should just go ahead and reboot OpenOffice. We're going to be exporting this uh, song that never ends as a PDF and then importing it back in and exporting it as a JPEG. Uh, the reason you need to do that is because with the OpenOffice Writer document, the uh, the written portion, you make it in Writer, but you actually export as an image inside of Draw. Uh, as you see right here, when you export here uh, inside of Writer, it will only give you PDF as an option. You can't do JPEG or PNG. And that's why you need to be able to export it as a PDF so you can import it and then export it again. Uh, but normally, normally these PDFs can't actually be imported back into OpenOffice Writer. What would happen is you'd get a bunch of gibberish. It would basically be um, converting the raw uh, com computer code uh, into written language, but it would be completely unreadable by a human. Much the same way that if you try to open a uh, Microsoft Office document inside of Notepad, it would look awful and completely unreadable. So we'll go ahead and export that as a PDF to the desktop. Uh, you can mess with these settings if you want. Uh, more or less, you can just kind of leave it as is. 90% JPEG quality is fine. And we'll have it on our desktop right here as a PDF. So now that we've installed the PDF import functionality, we can import this PDF straight into, uh, my, no, not Microsoft, <laughs> OpenOffice Draw. And you could do the same thing with any other PDF. It doesn't necessarily have to be one you created using OpenOffice Writer, uh, but that's what this tutorial is about. So we'll just have to find this on this PC. Uh, Windows 8 sometimes not the best at finding all of your installed programs. Let's see. Open Office. And there it is. Okay, so program, Open Office Draw. And it should pop right up inside here. Essentially the same way we wrote it inside of Open Office uh, Writer. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so it went ahead and loaded eventually, but you really should uh, reboot OpenOffice whenever you install new extension functionality. So as you can see, we basically exported that uh, document into a PDF, and it looks effectively just how we wrote it. Oh, you can even move the elements. Eh, interesting. And then from here, since it's in OpenOffice Draw as a PDF, we can export that straight to any kind of image format you want. Basically, there's a whole lot here, some I don't even recognize. But uh, PNG, BMP, uh, JPEG, uh, and GIF are usually the ones you're going to want to. Uh, those are the more typical ones that people use online. So we can save that on the desktop as a JPEG image. And... I don't think it's saved. Yeah there's going to be a pop-up for settings. So save that. And now we can open this up as a JPEG image. And there you go. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section. If you have any suggestions, go for it. In any case, I've been Chris. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found this useful. Till next time.